Namo Buddhaya. You have now come to the World News and Buddha's Great Message session, where we read the news that happened all around the world and see what lessons we can learn from these news according to Supreme Buddha's teachings. My name is Devanga, and today I'm here with Devindu. Dana is one of the ways of collecting merits. Dana, or being generous, is also one of the noble human qualities that we can cultivate in our lives. Dana includes things such as food, drinks, clothes, medicine, stationery, vehicles, lights, houses, and anything that one needs. Today we are going to share a story about Dana. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have donated to a women's shelter that was damaged in a large storm which hit Texas. When we give food and drinks to someone, we give them five things, namely lifespan, complexion, happiness, strength, and ability to think wisely. The giver will receive the same in return, either in the human world or in the heavenly world. Our Supreme Buddha taught how a good person should give something to another, whether it be food, drinks, clothes, or anything else. Number one, he gives in an orderly manner. Number two, he gives respectfully. Number three, he gives with his own hands. Number four, he gives what will not be discarded. And number five, he gives in faith of karma and its results. So my dear Dhamma friends, practice Dhamma and cultivate this noble quality in your lives. Namo Buddhaya, my name is Devindu. Samsara is the continuous process of being born growing old and dying again and again. Do you know why we are still roaming this endless sansara this long? Because we did not realize the Four Noble Truths. Today, we are going to report a story that happened in India during the Kumela festival. So let's see the news now. Hundreds of devotees, including nine top saints, have tested positive for COVID-19 in India's Herod War City, where huge crowds have gathered to participate in the Kumela festival. More than 3 million Hindu devotees bathed in the Ganges River on Tuesday to mark one of the most auspicious days of the two-month-long festival. Millions are expected to repeat the ritual on Wednesday. India reported 184,372 new cases on Tuesday, its highest daily spike yet. Many have criticized the government for allowing the festival to go ahead amid a raging pandemic. Officials said that nearly 900,000 people had taken a dip in the Holy River by afternoon on Wednesday which is considered to be the most auspicious day of the entire festival. Hindus believe that the Ganges River is holy and taking a dip in the water will cleanse them from their sins and bring salvation. People follow different spiritual paths and believe all these paths to lead to an escape from the sansara. But unfortunately, there is only one path to escape from the sansara. Our great teacher, the Supreme Buddha, escaped from this endless sansara and has kindly taught us how to escape from the sansara. Do you know what we should follow to escape from the sansara? Yes, we should follow the Noble Eightfold Path. Therefore, my dear Dhamma friends, practice the Dhamma, follow the Noble Eightfold Path and escape from this endless sansara. Do not miss this rare opportunity. We will see you all next week. Teruan Saranai. Namo Buddhaya.